I'd like to talk with you for just a few minutes about the Christian's bragging rights. What does a Christian have that they can brag on? And I'd like to ask you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26 through 31 for the background. Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, says to them, you'll notice that God doesn't build the church and choose from the smartest people in your city to do it. He's not, cho- he's not using the intellectuals to build the church. And God doesn't go around looking to build a church and looking for his people and choose the most powerful leaders, the people that stand head and shoulders above everyone else. He's not using those kind of people to build a church there in your city. And he says also, God's not using people from the royal families. He's not using the people from the the very best side of the tracks to build the church. But instead, he said, he's using you. And who who you are, these, these Corinthians, who they were, were, verse 27, they were the foolish people. And you notice how that's a contrast to the intellectuals. Not the intellectuals, but the foolish. And then he says, and he's using the weak and that you notice how that contrasts to the to the powerful leaders. Instead, he's using the weak. And he says in verse 28, he's using the lowly. And you notice that's a contrast to the people in the royal families. He's using the lowly. By human standards, even the smartest, most powerful royal people are zero compared to God. And there's not anything to be found in our wisdom, in our strength, or what family we came from. There's nothing in that worth bragging about. Zero. However, he said, as we walk with Jesus, walking with Christ, he becomes our wisdom. He becomes our strength, and we become a part of the royal family. In other words, all the things that are missing all the things that the, that the church doesn't have, that society seems to think is so important, we really gain it. But we don't gain it from them. We gain it from Christ. He said, in Christ, in Him, we become wiser. In Him, we become stronger. In Him, we learn how to be a child of the King. And so Paul summed it up. He said, let him who boasts Boast in the Lord. Boast in the wisdom that Christ gives you. Boast in the righteousness that is His, that He allowed to be a part, to be in your life. Boast in the holiness that He forms and creates in your life. Boast in the fact that He has redeemed you, bought you back from your sins, and cleaned you up and made you His child. It is, uh, it is 100% bi- biblical to, for you and I to boast on all the things that Jesus has done for us. God bless you, my friend.